Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Naomi, and let's dream about you. In today's video, I have for you a tutorial slash get ready with me where I am going to use my Shop My Stash products and my everyday makeup palette to put together this look. So if you'd like to see how I got this look and watch me use my Shop My Stash products, then just keep on watching. Okay, so let's get started. Um, for primer, I'm going to go into my BoxyCharm and I got the Ole Henriksen um, Banana Bright Face Primer, so I'm gonna give that a try. This is what it looks like. going to pop out a little bit on the back of my hand. La 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 la. Still pumping. Oh, oh, wait. There we go. Mm, smells nice. I'm probably gonna regret using this because I think it's um, illuminating. Well, banana bright. I mean, it says banana bright face primer, vitamin C and banana powder inspired pigments. I'm just pushing that into my pores. And then I'm going to go in with the Lancome uh, Tent Idol Ultra Wear. with this one you need about three pumps like it a little bit does not go a long way but dang it looks so pretty on the skin okay so that's all blended in and I'm going to go in with a Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Porcelain. I'm going to use my brush to blend that in. We're bring it up to get lift. This is quite a yellow concealer. So hopefully it will cancel out my dark circles. I mean, the Born This Way is pretty full coverage. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the Fenty Lavender Powder. I have it in my, in this Becca container. I find it so brightening. Okay, 
now I'm going to go in with the Fenty powder in butter. Mmm, smells good. <laughs> going in with like pressing it into my pores area my t-zone with a damp sponge and then I'm going to pick some up with my large powder brush mmm it has such a nice smell to it I don't know, I like using stuff that has smells nice. Even though I know that fragrance isn't the best thing, but there's something just nice about things that smell nice. It feels luxurious and rewarding and satisfying to use. Okay, so I just did my eyebrows off camera to save time. And now I'm going in with contour. And I was just watching Lisa Eldridge and she did a contour versus bronzer. I just have Kind of a new technique using a new kind of brush like a pointy one and just start right there almost kind of in my hair line and put most of the pigment right there almost onto my ear and then just start to bring it out just keeping it kind of where the shadow would fall naturally I do like a fairly strong contour. We're not putting very much pressure on, just like so. Okay, so there's the contour all done. This is using my rodeal. Rodile um, contour. It's in my project pan. Now I'm going to go in with my Marc Jacobs bronzer. This is the Omega bronzer in the shade Fantastic. And so then you just tap it off. Don't go in too much. And then just meet the contour and just start brushing up. The one thing that Lisa Eldridge said is um, when you're doing bronzers, you know, try to build it slowly. Going to the other side now. Uh, I just watched the video a couple days ago, so I'm still trying to perfect the technique. just across the nose, the chin, and in the temple area, up on the forehead and across. And I'm not blending, I'm just bouncing it in place. Like I'm not buffing, I mean, because I don't want to disturb the... <laughs> I do my makeup with my eyes closed quite often. I don't know why I do that. I'll be like, oh, yeah, just, you know, anywho. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with
the shade Enchanted Mirror. My blush brush. And sweep that kind of along my cheekbones. Going up diagonally so that it gives the illusion of that facelift. I'm going to go in with my HD uh, Catrice HD Active Performance Setting Spray. And then usually after I spray, I fan. Okay. Now, highlighter, I'm going to use the Ofra Madison Miller highlighter in the shade Moon Dance. Just along my cheekbones there. That's beautiful. A little bit on my nose. What at the end of my nose? On oh, no, my cupid bow. Very pretty. Okay, so now I'm going to use my bone colored shade that's in my everyday palette to set my crease. This is in my project pan. And I'm trying to use it since my project pan update will be in a couple weeks. It would be nice if I could show some progress. Okay, so now I am going to use the eyeshadow palette, the Carly Bible, ABH Carly Bible palette. And this is what it looks like. So I am going to begin with my everyday palette and use a taupe shade to start out in my crease. It's just laying down a transition color. There aren't a lot of, because I'm going for a cool toned look with the top row of shimmers. I should just zoom in a little bit. Whoops. I just love having this everyday palette that I made out of my singles. It's really. It's really nice just to have where I do my makeup and when I need it I have kind of a very basic palette to use to supplement any other Okay, so we've got the transition area all blended in, and now I'm going to go in with the shade. Oops, where did the pop? With the shade Boy, 
which is right here in the corner and just uh, darken up that crease a little bit. That's presuming that it's a darker color, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I think that's working like I hoped. Now just taking a clean brush and just blending around the edges. going to go back into my everyday palette. Oh, never mind, I'll use the shade Bear, which is basically what I was going for. And just oh, that's not really what I was hoping for. go back with the JH34 and re-blend out that actually go back into my everyday palette to redo this transition area that I kind of covered up with that bare shade that was not what I had intended. Sorry, I reached the 30 minute cutoff and my camera shut off. I'm going to go into this dark brown. Going back in with a new, another clean brush for a blend. Just want to blend that through my crease. A little bit of fallout. Okay, so that's what we're looking like so far. And now for the fun part. So there's three different, this one, this one, and this one, and I'm gonna swatch them to decide which one I want to use.
So there's Libra, Jode, and Oe. I think I'm going to go in with Jode on my lid. Spray it. Oh, that is so pretty. This is exactly what I was hoping for. Okay, so now I'm going to take uh, this teeny tiny little brush and I'm going to do the corner of my eye, but I'm going to go in with this highlighter, the Madison Miller highlighter. Do inner corner of my eye. And then I'm going to bring it up a little bit into just to brighten that corner there. God, those swatches are so pretty, hey? Oh, I love those three colors. The whole palette is worth it just for those three shades, in my humble opinion. Okay, so, whoops, I'm going to take this Madison Miller and do my... Brow Bone Highlight. And I'm going to go in with my new Pat McGrath Labs eyeliner. Can't really see it through my lashes, I don't know. And then the last thing I need is something on my lips. So I'm going to go in with the Juvia's Place Luxe Liner in Love Me. Then I'm going to go in with Chic, just in the middle. And 
And then lip gloss, I'm going to use Kiss Me. And that's the finished look. I think if I was, um, it is quite a smoky look, which I love. I love smoky looks. I love cool toned eyeshadows. Um, I would probably, if I was, if this was a like an evening look. Um, I mean it is a lot for daytime but if it was an evening look I would probably add something to my lower uh, lash line and I'd probably do some black in my waterline but I'm just gonna leave it like this for just this afternoon and maybe tonight will be date night and I will do that so anyhow thanks for hanging out with me this afternoon um, while I did this uh, tutorial slash get ready with me with my shop my stash uh, time is our most precious resource and when you spend a little bit of your time with me I really appreciate it I hope wherever in the world you are that you're well that you're healthy and that you're most importantly happy I'd like to recommend that you uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already uh, maybe you'll consider activating the notification bell I would love 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 to read a comment that you might leave um, I love comments and um, a thumbs up is always appreciated um, so that's it from me for today take care bye bye